Hi there and welcome to this week at Ask Total Health. Um, it's a week late but we have got our uh, Fueling for Performance and Fueling for Endurance uh, video out now. Um, here it is. Uh, we're going to break it down into three sections. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at, first of all, um, remembering your health and your lifestyle in general. Uh, what a lot of people do um, when they're training for events, they're training for you know sports or whatever, is they, they, they get really focused on the specifics for the event and for the sport and they forget about their general health and, and kind of choices in, in general. Um, you know, just the, how you live your life day to day and you get very carried away with trying to take some supplements and drinks and, and, and getting a certain amount of carbs in or whatever it is to kind of give you that adequate performance. But then if you're not living your life kind of healthily and clean anyway, you've not got that base of total health. Um, you've not got everything working in, in, in good kind of effective order. So that's going to have a massive impact on your on your performance. So first of all, we want to look at you live your life healthily. I mean, if you're not sure how to do that, please email us and we'll give you the basic tips or just check out the YouTube channel and the, and the blog and that, that will give you enough information on how to start making the foundations and steps forward. So just start to really look after your health before um, or during training for an event. Yeah. Eat and drink small amounts regular because you're probably, um, if this works for you, if it doesn't work for everyone, but for the majority of people I come across, it does. So if you're if you're training for a, um, you know an endurance event or a sport or whatever, you're going to be training quite regularly. You're going to be taxing the body. So just by getting small amounts in regular, you're going to balance the blood sugar levels. You're going to balance your hormones. You're going to keep your body topped up and never getting into a depleted mode. So that's vital. The one that I'm glad I'm saying to you um, over video rather than face to face is cut back on caffeine and booze because a lot of people shout at me or almost attack me when I say caffeine and sometimes booze as well. So um, unfortunately these things will dehydrate you and hydration is a massive, massive part of our uh, performance when it comes to it comes to endurance. I um, mean you really do lose large percentages of your performance just by um, being dehydrated. So you don't want to be in this caffeine or booze overload um, and just depleting the body and kind of over st st um, stimulating your system and your nervous system and everything as well. So again, don't shout at me, I'm just telling you the facts here, try and cut back on your caffeine and booze. I'm not saying go teetotal of it all, um, but cut back on it as much as possible. So a few basics there, just to get get you kind of into that uh, mode of thinking uh, about cleansing your body and keeping it really healthy so that there's a good base to then go and perform off. Uh, because if you're not clean and healthy like that, you will, as you start to up your training and try to up your performance, your body will probably start to break down or you'll get ill or whatever. So, a few key factors here. Next point, pre-race or pre-training, if you're going on, a, say like a big uh, training run or whatever, and this would be one to three hours before, just a few basic um, facts here. Now, there are lots of specifics we could go into. It does depend on how long you're training for, uh, how you fueled or how you trained the day before, your body weight, your height, your age, all these different things. But if we take, if we live healthy and we take these couple of basic guidelines um, into consideration, you will most likely get your, bo your body kind of working at optimum level. Yeah, and we're possibly above that as well, depending on how, how your current state of health is. So if we look at again, 250 to 500 mils of fluid, ideally we would look at something um, like water, um, uh, good mineral water, something like Evian, um, it's got good amount of minerals in there, or um, you know other mineral water with a little bit of Celtic sea salt added in there to, to get the minerals out of it because most of the minerals are take, is taken out of our water unfortunately. Um, you can add a little bit of fruit juice or something in there, I would say about a third fruit juice, two thirds uh, water, um, just to give you that little bit of carbohydrates in there. A carb based meal or snack, ideally low uh, GI, um, so we're not getting something really high in sugar that's going to spike us up and you're going to crash and run out of that halfway through your run or cycle or whatever. So ideally something like oats, porridge, you know, wholemeal pasta, wholemeal rice, something like that. Um, Get those couple of basics in that gets you well hydrated that gets the carbohydrates in there ready for the to, to use up for the energy to get you through that that run now or, or the cycle now if you're going on for quite a long distance run or distance cycle or swim or whatever it is you're doing 
then you, you, you're going to have to look at what you're doing as you're training as well. So we'll have a look at that. Generally, if you're training up to about an hour, you know, you'll probably get away with just kind of sipping on water or whatever, just keeping yourself kind of slightly hydrated. Um, if you've uh, fueled well beforehand, if you're working at quite an intense day and you're going like over 45 minutes, you definitely want to kind of consider getting some fuel in. But if you're working on endurance and distance and, and time, you want to be looking at every hour, keeping yourself topped up. So you're looking at about 400 to 800 mils of fluid, little or often. So again, this can be water, this can be the water and fruit juice combination. You can look at good isotonic drinks as well because that will get your carbohydrates in there too, as well as the fluid. Just be careful which ones you go for. If you're unsure, email us and we'll, we'll give you some advice. Um, so 400 to 800 mils of fluid, little and often. Your, your, your body, especially when you put it under that kind of demand of exercise and going through endurance training, doesn't want big loads of food in or big loads of water to try and distribute. Um, it's just going to, it's small amounts, regular and often, it's just going to keep the body topped up and never get into that depleted state and just keep it functioning well. So that's the same with your carbohydrates, get 30 to 60 grams of carbohydrates in now there are all sorts of kind of carb bars or whatever, um, but I tend to find something like a banana, some, some kind of fruit, you know, maybe dried fruit, raisins or whatever, or, you know, homemade flapjacks or something, you know, if you can make them, or pre-bought flapjacks, um, with as little um, of the junk in there as possible, but you will get away with having a bit more sugar and everything uh, when you are training, but just look at that. Again, best quality carbohydrates, 30 to 60 grams of that pretty much every hour. Now, again, this might tweak depending on your size, your age, your training level and stuff like that. Um, so you will maybe have to play a bit with this. Yeah, take these as guidelines, try and follow these rules, but then you may have to tweak them. You may just find that's a little bit too much or a little bit too little. And just you play about with that and see how you feel because again, uh, our message at Total Health is always for you to build that level of awareness that you know exactly what's needed. You can take the tips from people like us and the advice that we give you and you can tweak them specifically to you and that will get the best out of you. Now again, I have put Celtic Sea Salt here. Try and just get into the habit of getting a good organic Celtic Sea Salt packed full of minerals and just putting a little sprinkle of that into you, know, a little touch into your water just on a regular basis, but especially when you're training to get more minerals into your system. We're talking about just a touch of the, the, the sea salt so that you can't even taste it, but just enough to get some minerals out there. So hopefully these, these um, tips help you and you uh, start to perform better or at least just get through your, your training and your race without totally depleting the body and that is a big bonus. So again, uh, please email us info at totalhealth.uk.com if you have any questions. Thank you.